You wanna come up, bug? Oh, look at me. I have abugers on. Hold on, hold on. Remove your abugers. You gotta look pretty for the camera. <laughs> oh, you're so pretty now. Puppy update. Lennox is six months old. I got treats because I'm hoping he's gonna stay with us a little bit. Here's the vlog of when we first got him four months ago, if you wanna watch it. And today I thought I would recap the last few months with our little bug. Lennox is an English Cocker Spaniel. He was born on Christmas Day and we got him when he was two months old. He's sleeping in my He had a big day today. And snuggle time. He got so big in the last four months. When we got him, he was like a tiny, tiny little pup. And now he's a big, fat pup. Anything for food, he will do. Yeah. He wants to be with us all the time. And he loves taking naps on our lap. He was here and he walked here. And he came right on me to sleep. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a super affectionate dog. My wish came true. He's very, very affectionate. He's like my little shadow. He follows me around everywhere and he loves giving kisses and hugs. All right. Back up after the studio. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> He can sit and lay down and stay. He's a pretty smart dog. We haven't had any problems teaching him any of the basic commands. Even as a very, very young puppy, he caught it on super fast. Hey, bud, sit. Down. He's fully potty trained, it's been a while already. He's been really, really good with that, except for 
a couple few incidents. Add a little mishap. Sit. Bug had a little poop. And he stepped in it. Well, he had a giant poop. A giant diarrhea poop. And he stepped both of his paws in it. And there was so much poop. One thing I love about him is that he's not a fearful dog at all. Whenever he's not sure about something like the vacuum or anything like that, he will be cautious about it, kind of look at it from afar, but then he will get over it and come close and inspect it, which I find is pretty good for his age. I just have to show him that it's okay and he's gonna be super curious to go and, and check it out for himself. He's super friendly, he loves everyone, he wants to meet everyone, and he gets real, real happy when we come back home. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Oh. It's Daddy after a day's work. He can't help himself. Look at that day I'll go. <laughs> His fur is so soft, it's really like rabbit fur. I don't know if it's because it's his baby coat. Maybe someone out there can tell me if his coat is gonna get rougher when he's older. I hope it stays like this because it's so soft. It's really like hugging a cloud. Of course, he loves coming with us everywhere and he's pretty chilled in the car. He's got lots of personality, he makes so many different little noises, he's really goofy and he makes us laugh constantly. Come see mama! Come, come, come! Come, come, come! Come see mama! Come, 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 come! The only little issue that we've been having is that he's been a little bit rough when playing. He likes to play bite a little bit, he bites our feet. He's been like that since he was little, but that's only when he has a lot of pent up energy. He gets real ferocious. But other than that, we don't have any problems. He's really the perfect pup, super affectionate, lovely. We love him, he loves us. He's our first English Cocker Spaniel, so we don't have any point of comparison. But if all Cockers are like him, I really highly recommend because he's just has an amazing personality. Like having him on me right now, that's totally standard. He's like this all the time. He wants to be like this all day long, except for when he wants to play. Hey, Nux. Come, come, come. Sit. If you're thinking of getting a puppy, know that the first year is crazy hectic. 
they have so much energy they ask you for your attention all the time and there's so much to teach them so it's a lot of time that you have to invest in them and a lot of money as well so if you have a very very busy life right now and you feel kind of overwhelmed sometimes puppyhood is really not for you it's better to wait when you're in a more quiet space in your life He has an average level of energy, I would say. And even if we walk him an hour a day and play with him and do everything we can to drain his energy, it's not enough. It's really not enough. He would want to run more and play more. So I think that a yard is completely mandatory and or a daily visit to the dog park because they have energy. Just the walk can never be enough. <laughs> Let's look at the camera. Let's check out the camera. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. No, no bite. Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, crap. What you doing? <laughs> Don't bite my mic. Okay. Down. No. Come. Do. Do. Hey. No. 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 Don't bite the mic. It's not food. Do. Oh my god. This is gonna be really hard. Yeah. You want treats? That's all you want in life, isn't it? want a treaty and if I had known that in advance I probably would have waited to be in a better position to get two puppies instead of one so that he would have a, a sibling to play with and kind of drain that energy and kind of have that rough housing kind of play that he likes to have because I find that even with the walks and the training and all that, he gets bored a lot of the time during the day because he doesn't have another puppy friend to play with. But having said that, I've never had two dogs at once. Maybe people that have two dogs or more than two dogs could help me figure that out. Do they play together a lot when you have many dogs? Because I sometimes feel a bit guilty to have him as an only puppy in the house. So let me know. Do your dogs play a lot together? Does it make a big difference? I'll eventually want another dog, but time and money doesn't permit it right now. So we'll wait a little bit, but I see a sibling for him in the next couple of years for sure. Lennox, come see your mama. Come. So as I was saying, if you're thinking of getting a dog, it's very time consuming and it costs a lot of money the vet visits and the treats and all the stuff that you need to take good care of them is well adds up a lot but when those things are in place money and time there's nothing better in the world my life is a lot improved because i know him it's crazy to say but i'm really i feel like a happier person just because he's in my life i have daily bursts of joy just because of him. So I do recommend it.
If you have questions for me, write them down below. And if you want to see how tiny he was when we first got him, go check out the last video. Say bye! Say bye to the internet fans. Look at them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just want another treat, right? Yeah. That's right. Oh, that's a big one.